Hi, I'm Mr. Mohan, the Distanced SLP. Um, this is another video about the GoTalk 9 Plus. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few more advanced things you can do with it if you need to reprogram some of the buttons. What I mean is, if you want to have this, if you want to have the buttons be able to say different things, or you just want to change the voice on the buttons, I'm going to explain how to unlock it and do those things. Um, these, uh, basically, this is just a device that records, it has a microphone, and I'm going to show you how you record your voice into it, okay? Um, so, right now the device is locked. I've locked it all down so that you can't record things. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is unlock this device. And you can read all these instructions on the back, but they're, it took me a while to figure it out. I think it's a little complicated, so I'm just going to show you how to do those things. But you can read all the instructions on the back and see how to do that. So to unlock it, I'm going to turn the power off of the device. I'm going to hold down this record button on the back. I'm going to hold it down, and I'm going to turn it back on while it's, while it's down. Okay? Turn it back on. Now I can let go. Okay? So now it should be unlocked. Okay? So now it's ready to be programmed. So, for example, if I wanted to put a message in one of these top buttons, okay? they, don't, they don't have anything programmed at the moment, what I would do is I would now, it's, the device is still on, I'm going to press this record button on the back, turn it back over, and you can see there's a red light on. Now I'm going to, if I want to put a message in this button right here, I'm going to press it and release it. Then I'm going to speak my new message into the microphone, wherever that is, you know. I'll speak my new message into the microphone, and then I'll press this button again, and the message will be recorded. So, here's my new message. Hi, this is a new message. Did you see this red light was blinking while it was recording my voice? And I pressed it again when I was done to stop recording. Now I'm going to go back here and press the record button again to take away, uh, to turn off the recording feature. Okay, so now if I press this button. Hi, this is a new message. There's my message. Hi, this is a new message. Now, you can also record a whole bunch of messages at once. For example, this device has my voice on it. Hello. Oops, let me turn up the volume. Yeah. Hello. Stop. Bye. Bye. So, that was my voice. Now, suppose I wanted a different voice. I wanted to use a different person's voice on these. I could record them all at once. I could put new messages. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to show you you can do them all at once. So, I'm going to go back and press the record button. And again, it's red now, so it's ready for me to record. And I'm going to go to each button. I'm going to press the button and release it. I'm going to speak the new message again. And then I'm going to press it again to stop recording. Okay? And I can do several buttons that way. So watch me. So this is an example. If I was a different person and I wanted my new voice to be in these buttons, I could say, Hello? That one's done. It's not recording. Stop! Okay? I finished recording that one. Bye! I finished recording. You can see this light blinks while I'm recording. Bathroom, drink, eat. Okay, that's my silly voice. But now if I go back here and I press record again, the red light's gone and that means the new messages are there and they're ready to play. Hello, bye, eat. So now you can see they've been recorded with my new silly voice, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you one more thing. If I, uh, if I wanted to do a whole, you know, if I wanted to change the words on here, I could take out this card. And if this card keeps coming out, like if that's bothering you, uh, something that we do sometimes, let me put it back in there, is when we have the card in here, we might stick a piece of tape or something over here to stop it from falling out if that becomes a problem. But anyway, I'm going to take this card out and you can use another card. Um, if you're a family that I work with, just ask me and I can give you, you know, more cards that you could stick into your device. Uh, they're called overlays. Um, and uh, so you can, you, you can have new overlays that you can stick in there. And on the overlay, uh, you could write, I mean, 
I can use my computer uh, and I could type, you know, I could create a new document in, in Microsoft Word or something. Uh, I could create a new overlay with, with pictures in it. But if, if you don't have uh, access to a computer and that's complicated uh, and you just want to do it yourself, you can just write on a blank overlay like this. So I could write some new messages like, uh, I don't know, um, this is a bad example. This pen doesn't work. Let me, well, let me grab a pen. Oh. I'm back and I have a pencil that works. So I could write something on these like piano, or if I'm an artist, I could draw a picture of a piano and I could write mushroom. I mean, you know, whatever you want, um, up, down, you know, you could write some words on here and now I'm all set and I can put my new overlay with my new words or pictures in here. There they are. And I can go around again, press the record. It's ready to record. I can record my new words. Remember, I press to start recording, release, and then press and release to stop recording. So, for example, piano, mushroom, up, down. So, and now I press record to lock all those in, and now, piano, mushroom, down. See, my words are in there, okay? Um, the device is... If you remember the beginning, at the beginning of this video, I said the device was locked so that nobody could change um, the words, right? But right now it's not locked. I've unlocked it so I can do that. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to lock up the device again so that nobody can record over it and nobody can use this level changing feature. I have not explained the level changing feature. I don't feel like doing that right now, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to lock that up so that's not gonna work. So. Uh, what I do is I, and again, that's on the instructions here, okay? If you, if you wanna double check how to do it. But um, what you do is you, you hold down the record button and you press the up key and then release it and release the record button. That locks one thing, either the level or the programming, I'm not sure. Then do the same thing again. Hold down the record button, keep it down, and then press the down volume and release that. Okay, and then release this one, okay? So now I've locked both the recording over possibility and I've locked this level button, okay? So it's all locked up again. Listen. Mushroom. My new words are still there. Uh. My, my new words are there, but now that it's locked, if I just press the record button, it, I can't, I, can't get the, I can't get the blinking light anymore. I can't record again. Mushroom. So it's locked in there. And if I press this level button, that weird level feature is not going to do anything. It's not going to get me, it's not going to um, let me change that either. It's just going to keep it locked down like this. Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to show you. Uh, I'm going to turn the device off. I can't use the device to say goodbye because I've programmed over that. So I'm just going to have to say goodbye with my voice and with my hand. So uh, I hope you have success with, uh, with uh, using these communication devices and uh, Remember, you should um, talk with a speech language pathologist like me, you know, talk with other professionals that work with your child to figure out what's gonna meet their individual needs. And if I am your child's speech language pathologist, please talk to me and we'll figure out, you know, some individual things for your child. This was just a general example with uh, one particular student in mind. Um, so, I'll see you later, bye-bye.